Hello and thanks for watching. I'm John Bazika. This week at Otterbein, the baseball and softball teams find themselves in the heart of OAC play. One Otterbein student is working to publicize his talents in the Community Impact Summit is this coming weekend. But first, spring is upon us here in the Buckeye State, and with spring comes different outdoor conditions. Allergies are about to hit their peak in Ohio and across the nation. Here on OTV, we give you a preview of what to expect in the 2013 allergy season. A simple leaf or a weed in the ground. Even plants that may seem beautiful to the eye in nature may not do the same for our sinuses and our allergies. Pollen in Ohio as of today is at a medium level compared to 2010, where most of the map of Ohio was covered in red or very high pollen levels. Pollen comes from grass, which has been low thus far in 2013, weeds which have also been low, and trees which according to the national weather map from Wednesday is higher than pollen levels in both grass and weeds in the state of Ohio, reaching the moderate level on the map, or yellow. So next time you enter nature or feel the slight sniffle coming on, remember allergies could strike you at any time. The 2013 Community Impact Summit will be held this Saturday, April 13th. Registration will start at 8.30 a.m. in Roush Hall. The event will focus on the impact of social innovation in our society and how solutions can be created to influence sustainable change. The admission is free for all faculty, staff, and students. Emerald Bank, which is in Uptown Westerville, will sponsor the event, as will 31 Gifts. There will be gifts and a raffle for those registered. Also, don't forget to look for the pink pigs around campus with the words social change on them, as all proceeds put in the pigs will benefit the Westerville Area Resource Ministries or WARM. Well, that's all the time we have for the news, but Susanna, I hear that there is a student at Otterbein with a pretty special talent. Want to tell us a little bit more? There is, John. Um, I'm Susanna Harris, letting you know what's happening in arts and entertainment on campus. One Otterbein senior, Dusty Kioski, is like any other student involved in both school and soccer, but he still finds time to do something he loves. Grace Linehan has more. Otterbein senior Dusty Kioski is like any other busy student juggling many activities at once. He has been on the soccer team for the last four years at Otterbein and is an accounting major. But even though he is busy with many different things, he still finds time to pursue a passion that he discovered many years ago, music. Seventh grade, probably. My friend got a guitar for Christmas, and he said, do you want to make a band? And I was like, of course I want to make a band. Um, so he's like, well, you're, you're going to have to sing since I have the guitar. And I was like, I don't want to sing, but I gave it a shot anyway. Um, so we uh, made like a little clip of a song that we made up and put it online and told a couple of our friends to like, take a look at it and they said that they really liked it. So we just kind of kept on writing and we got better and better and kind of led me to where I am right now. Since his middle school days, Dusty has been playing as much as he can and has recently released an EP entitled Rescued. He somehow still finds time in his busy schedule of soccer and school to play, write, and record his original music on a regular basis. I just feel like if if somebody has a passion for something, like I have a passion for music, they'll make time. You know, like, it's, you have to make time for your studies, you have to make time for your sport if you're involved with that. And I, like, woke up in the morning and I'm, like, thinking of a certain, like, song or thinking of a certain, like, line that I want to write. And before I go to sleep, maybe I'll just be like, oh, this would be cool, maybe I can play this on the guitar. And so, like, I'm always thinking about music and I'm always thinking about, like, writing and stuff. So I just feel like it kind of, like, naturally fits its way into my schedule. Dusty has another EP in the recording process now and hopes to start doing live shows around Columbus this summer. He shares with us why it has been so important that he continues to pursue this passion. Music's kind of like a part of me and I feel like without it, I don't know, I really wouldn't know what to do with myself. Like if I, you know, if I'm not involved with it for like a week or two or if I haven't picked up my guitar in like a week, then I'll just like find myself like I have to play guitar. Like, you know, it's been so long. I don't know, it's just something that's always drawn me in. For any other college student that has a talent that you love to do, Dusty offers this piece of advice to keep you going. If you have a passion for something, obviously just continue to try your hardest to keep it as a part of your life. And I think that music will be part of Dusty Kioski's life for quite a while. Grace Lenahan, Otterbein TV. Dusty will be continuing his music after graduation, and we here at Otterbein TV would like to wish him luck. 
Snapshots of life at Otterbein. This will be the theme for the upcoming Founders Day photo contest. Make sure to send in your photos that best capture your idea, life, and experience here's, experiences here at Otterbein. Contestants must submit photos by email to the address on the bottom of the screen by April 19th. That's alumni info at otterbein.edu. Voting for the photos begins April 20th. A, pr a prize will be given to the individual with the top two photos. For more information about Founders Week and all the festivities as a whole, please visit www.otterbein.edu slash slash fun unders week. Oh, no. It's fine. And it's Susanna, fun. you're a fan of uh, photography, aren't you? I am. I love it, John, yes. What about you, uh, Jordan? You know, I'm not a big photography girl, but I am a big sports girl. Well, uh, what about Otterbein sports? Well, this past Saturday, the Otterbein women's softball team took on the Ohio Northern Polar Bears. Otterbein TV's Aaron Reinhardt gives us a recap of all the action. Kelsey Long took the mound for the Cardinals in a doubleheader against Ohio Northern this past Saturday. The Polar Bears came in cold after an NCAA World Series run last season. They were just 1-9 coming into Saturday's games. The ONU offense struck hard in the fourth inning when Annie Dreyer nailed a two-run shot to left, making it 2-1 Polar Bears. Then, Ashley Sigakowski hit a three-run blast, putting the Polar Bears in front 5-1 after four innings. The Cardinals would later cut the lead to one, with a Kayla Woodward RBI single in the sixth, making it 5-4 Polar Bears. But in the seventh, Ohio Northern would add another tally, extending their lead to 7-4. To Otterbein wouldn't go down without a fight. Bryn Allen hit an RBI single in the final frame, cutting the lead to 7-5. To the Cardinals had runners at first and second in the seventh, but were unable to convert and fell 7-5 in game one. To game two, we go to the sixth inning when the Polar Bears tied the game from an RBI single by Carly McKenzie, putting the game locked at five apiece. Then in extras, the Cardinals tried to put the game away in the bottom of the eighth when Chelsea Burns tried to score after a Laura Bassard flyout. She was not able to beat the throw, so we go to the ninth. Ohio Northern's Amanda Lady would single up the middle and score McKenzie, giving the Polar Bears a 6-5 to five advantage. Final chance for the Cardinals in the ninth with runners on the corners. Brooke Albright was not able to bring home the tying run, and the Cardinals fell 6-5 to and fell to 10-8 and on the season. For this week at Otterbein, I'm Aaron Reinhardt. Tuesday, the Cards traveled to Wilmington to recover after this past weekend's tough loss at home. Otterbein came out swinging early in the first of two games against the Wilmington Lady Quakers and continued to string along hits in Game 2. Otterbein swept Wilmington, giving the Cards their first two conference wins of the season. But what's one without the other? Otterbein men's baseball team followed suit of the softball team, sweeping Wilmington at home yesterday. Down 3-1 and bases loaded, a seventh inning walk-off double from senior Wes Meadows gave the Cards the Game 1 win of the Wednesday doubleheader. Game 2 came easily to the Cards as they finished with a 16-5 win. The Cards improved to 6-2 record in the OAC and 19-7 overall. Monday night, Otterbein men's lacrosse traveled to Albion, Michigan to face the Albion College Britons. With a 7-0 run to start the game, Otterbein finished the first half up 10-7. The Cards increased their lead to 14-7 at the start of the second half. But the Britons battled back. The Cards held on to ensure a 14-12 win over Albion. Otterbein improves to a 7-4 overall record with a chance to gain season win 8 at home this Saturday. You can check out the men's lacrosse team at 1 p.m. this Saturday at Memorial Stadium. And that game can be caught here on OTV as well, can't it, it Jordan? It can, streaming live. Well, thanks, Jordan. On behalf of our entire crew, I'm John Bazika reminding you to make every day at Otterbein just a little bit better than the last. And guys... We only have about a month of class left, and then it's summer break. I can't wait. Oh, I can't wait. And the weather is getting beautiful. Go in the nice. pool. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next week.